Hi everyone, my name is David. I'm a life coach and I try to help people heal from different kinds of trauma, specifically emotional trauma, more specifically from people like narcissists. Uh, today's video, the narcissist's judgment. Narcissists are judgmental, judgmental people. Um, and so are a lot of other people, right? I think we're all guilty of judging somebody at one time or another in our life. So I want to talk about that interesting topic. It's actually a diagnostic criteria for narcissists, one of them. Um, there are several, and one of them is that they're judgmental. Um, judgment would be a form of hate, wouldn't it? I think so. It's a, it's a kind of a hate. Um, narcissists project. I have other videos about projection if you guys are interested in that uh, topic, but narcissists project. What does that mean? Well, they're projecting onto you how they feel about themselves. And a lot of people do this. You can really tell how somebody feels about themselves, about how they treat other people, right? If, if I hate myself and I don't like myself and I think I'm a failure and I judge myself a lot and I might do that to other people. If you see people mistreating people and hate others, typically they hate themselves. They don't love themselves. They're mad. They're angry. They hate themselves. Narcissists are like this a lot. Narcissists have tons and tons of shame. They believe they're bad people. Guilt too, maybe. But more shame. Um, they believe they're bad people and they reject their self. They reject who they are. Lots of self-hatred. And they really try to overcompensate this. Rejecting themselves mean they won't admit this. They won't ever show you who they really are. They won't talk about who they really are. They want to project an image of who they want to be. They've been taught... All that matters is what you are over who you are. And that, that, that relates to how they view the world. That people, it's about what people are, not who people are. They place importance and focus and attention on what people do and don't care how people feel. Matter of fact, they lack empathy. So, and like I said, a lot of us have been taught this way too. When I say us, I'm talking about victims of people like this. If we are victims in adulthood of narcissists, we have narcissistic relationships, it's because we did in childhood. We had narcissistic parenting, not calling anyone a narcissist, narcissistic. We may have parents that taught us what matters is what we are instead of who we are, that may put importance on what we do or what we don't do rather than how we feel. I think we had parents like this too, but it didn't stick. We don't, we don't judge like the narcissists judge. Um, we might be self-critical. We, where they reject their self and are critical of you. So judgment, being judgmental, would be critical, right? It would be opinionated. Narcissistic people are extremely opinionated and it, it, our opinions are a part of who we are. And it's great to know how we feel and think and, and what our opinions are on certain subjects. It's great to know that. It's self-awareness. When I say opinionated, it's the person that has to voice their opinion all the time or believes that their opinion is more special, more unique, more important than yours. I'm going to voice my opinion all the time. I'm going to say, it's like this. It's like that. It, it, this feels good, doesn't it? This is good. I, this is pretty, isn't it? And it's just their opinion is more important than yours. Judgment is a form of penalty, a verdict, right? Devaluing somebody. Judging them on their mistakes, their failures, wrongdoings, even how they feel, their feelings, really who they are and can create shame. Accusations, smear campaigns, trying to convince someone's a bad person. Um, I see, I've seen people smear people all the time and I could see them get confronted. Hey, this is a smear campaign and they say, no, it's not. I'm not smearing anybody. I'm just trying to prove that somebody's a bad person. I'm trying to show you. Yeah, you're judgmental. You're narcissistic. Can you see how that takes all the attention off of who they are, their real true self, which they reject. Don't look at me. And I'm going to project my hatred on myself towards you and onto you. Depress, real depressed people might be judgmental. They might think that everybody's a bad person. 
and they try to find this, um, you'll often find what you're looking for. If you want to think I'm a really good person, you'll find that. You'll find substantial proof and evidence that I'm a great person. If you want to believe I'm a really bad person, you might find that proof that I'm a bad person. It's up to you and what you are looking for, what's important to you. Do you see that? Narcissistic relationships, dating, right? It starts out wonderful, doesn't it? I mean, usually, not always. Some of you guys are like, no, it didn't even start out great. I'm sorry. Typically, they start out great. Hormones rise. It's amazing. Might be having sex right away. Might be talking about the future and getting us all so excited. And the narcissist might put you on that pedestal and tell you how amazing you are. Perfect. I just made a video. My last video is about idealization, the narcissistic idealization. It kind of ties into this. The beginning, you're wonderful, you're great, you're everything that I am missing. You're everything that, that is opposite of me and everything I want in my life, everything I need in my life, and what I want to be. I want to be like this. I want to be pretty like you and, and be successful. You have some good status. I want to just feel good. You make me complete. I'm missing all those parts of myself that I reject, that I hate. And I love you. It's idealizing in the beginning to be perfect. Everything's perfect. And where does that go? If I put people on a pedestal, right, they fall off. If I hold people up as perfect, it's a matter of time because nobody's perfect. This perfection that people strive for is the imperfections in their own self. It's overcompensation. And if I totally reject myself, I'm no longer criticizing myself like a narcissist, right? I strive for the perfection in others and I'll be critical of others and I'll project this onto people. You see that? That's what's going on. We don't judge people. We accept people for who they are. Opposite of judgment is acceptance. People that are judgmental Anyone out there that's judging people are not accepting people, meaning they're not accepting a part of their own self. Look at young people who are coming of age and, and trying to deal with their own sexuality and they haven't accepted maybe some of their own thoughts or feelings that they have because they don't really know themselves yet. They're kind of exploring, meaning I'm, I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about that, I'm wondering what this is like and I have these little feelings like this and like that. And they don't know who they are and they're not accepting these things. And they judge other people, right? The homophobic person, the person who hates on other sexualities and preferences and things like this. They're dealing with their own insecurities, their own self, their own shame, their own feelings. Not accepting their own self. Okay? And that's what a narcissist is doing in anybody who judges. So we accept people for being different, for who they are. That's a sign of maturity. But we don't have to accept certain people and behaviors in our life, okay? I wrote, a, uh, wrote something about this on my YouTube channel in the community section if you're interested about acceptance. Anybody ask questions, please. Any, any questions you have, ask me. I'll answer them down below. Uh, let me know what you think of this video and add anything you want. I know there's a ton of things to add. Add your own experiences down there. Tell me what you think about this, about people being judgmental, narcissists judgment. Okay. Thank you. Love yourself first. See you again later. Bye.